Thank you, Parker. I won't be needing you again tonight. Yes, my lady. Oh, not back early, Mum. Another case cracked, are you? Send a telegram to Inspector Aberline of the Yard. Jack the Ripper has claimed his last victim. How did you find him? <sighs> Stringy. But tasty all the same. I shan't be needing dinner. Congratulations, Mum. He needs help. Madam President, I'm sorry, but we have to go now. Those things could be here any second. <laughs> Somebody call for a nurse. Will I be okay? Of course you will, my boy. You'll be up and around in no time. And perhaps one day, you and I shall meet on the field of battle, and I will destroy you for the glory of the Santana Empire. Thanks, nurse. Captain Harcourt, I hope someday to meet you in the glory of battle, but I shall crush the life from your worthless human form. Try and get some rest. Clever, isn't he? It's rather attractive. You do realise he's a man, don't you, Mom? Mammals. They all look alike. Thank you. Not fun. Is she all right? Yeah, she's just crying. Give her to me, human fools. He needs changing. I just changed her. I think she might need a feed. A feed? Of course. I'll take care of everything. Uh, I really don't think you will, actually. I have gene spliced myself for all nursing duties. I can produce magnificent quantities of lactic fluid. Well, Dr. Simeon, you're out very late tonight. Almost makes you wonder what you've been up to. But then I have often wondered about the activities of Dr. Simeon and his exceptionally secretive institute. Well, I am honored this evening. The veiled detective and her fatuous accomplice. At your service. You realize Dr. Doyle is almost certainly basing his fantastical tales on your own exploits, with a few choice alterations, of course. I doubt the readers of the Strand magazine would accept that the great detective is in reality. A woman and her suspiciously intimate companion. I resent your implication of impropriety. We are married. More than can be said for you, eh, dear? When you find something brand new in the world, something you've never seen before, what's the next thing you look for? A grenade. I suggest a full frontal assault with automated laser monkeys, scalpel mines, and acid. Why? Couldn't we at least investigate? It's none of our business. Sir, permission to express my opposition to your current apathy. Permission granted. Sir, I am opposed to your current apathy. Thank you, Strax. And if I'm ever in the need of advice from a psychotic potato dwarf, you'll certainly be the first to know. Hurt you. Please, I think. Silence, boy! That's Strax, and as you can see, he's easily confused. Silence, girl! Sorry, lad. Sontar and Clone Warrior Race Factory produce whole legions at a time. Two genders is a bit further than he can count. Sir, do not discuss my reproductive cycle in front of enemy girls. It's embarrassing. Typical middle child of six million. We'll need the worm. Sir? You'll need the what? The worm? What worm? Don't worry, it won't hurt you, but one touch on your bare skin and you lose the last hour of your memory. Where is it? Where's what, sir? I sent you to get the memory worm. Did you? When? Who's he? What are we doing here? Look, it's been snowing. You didn't use the gauntlets, did you? Why would I need the gauntlets? Do you want me to get the memory worm? You Got it! Got what, sir? Because these are the gauntlets, aren't they? Sir, emergency! I think I've been run over by a cab! not attempt to escape or you will be obliterated. May I take your coat? Lizard woman from the dawn of time. And this is my wife. <coughs> this dwelling is under attack. Remain calm, human scum. <coughs> uh, one pulp.
of a grenade would blow these snowmen to smithereens. A load of snow Strax, they're already smithereens. See, Clara? Our friends again. Hey, well done, Strax. He's still <laughs> got it, buddy. Sir, please do not noogie me during combat prep. Green woman said she was dead. How can she be alive now? This technology has capacities and abilities beyond anything your puny human mind could possibly understand. Try not to worry. To Jenny? Jenny. If this weak and fleshy boy is to represent us, I strongly advise the issuing of scissor grenades, limbo vapor, and triple blast brain splitters. What for? Just genuine. Uh, remember, we are going to the north. Jenny is getting on. If she hasn't made contact by nightfall, I suggest a massive frontal assault on the factory, madam. Casualties can be kept at perhaps as little as 80%. I think there may be subtler ways of proceeding, Strax. Suit yourself. Fourth one this week, and I'm not even hungry. Sweet, well, sir. Do you know it? Turn around when possible. Then, at the end of the road, turn right. What? Bear left for a quarter of a mile, and we'll have reached your destination. Thank you. What is your name? Thomas, sir. Thomas Thomas. I think you will do well, Thomas Thomas. This one's on me. Jenny Sherbet fancies again. No. Go outside and wait for me until I call for you. But, madam, uh, go! Mm. I'm gonna go play with my grenades. Important. I was in the middle of destroying some very pleasant primitives. I apologize for the interruption, but there is urgent news concerning the doctor. Who else is coming? The women. More participant. Oh, no. Not the one with the gigantic head. It's hair, Strax. <sighs> hair. Madam Vastra. Professor, help yourself to some tea. Why, thank you. Hello? Exit the box and surrender to the glory of the Sontaran Empire. Shush. Doctor? I was being chased by a giant dinosaur, but I think I managed to get the slip. Oh, you two. The green one? And the not green one. Or it could be the other way around. I mustn't prejudge. Come on, Clara, you know that I speak dinosaur. He's not Clara. I'm Clara. Well, you're very similar heights. Maybe you should wear labels. Are you? Military tactics. The doctor is still missing, but he will always come looking for his box. By bringing it here, he will be lured from the dangers of London to this place of safety, and we will melt him with acid. Okay, that last part? And we will not melt him with acid. Old habits. The Times. Shall I send it up? Yeah, why not? Ah! Miss Clara. You look better now, you're up. Thank you, Strax. Oh, sorry. The trick of the light, you still look terrible. Can I get you anything? Uh, no thanks. Maybe just some water. Of course. Uh, 
Oh, don't hold back. I've nearly finished anyway. Um... It's perfectly all right. I washed in it myself. All of a sudden, I'm not very thirsty. Really? Perhaps it is time, then. Your mandatory medical examination. Say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, you didn't move your lips. They're looking at my eye. Oh, oh yes, there we are. Easy mistake. Oh. Now that's interesting. What? What's interesting? Deflected narcissism, traces of passive aggressive, and a lot of muscular young men doing sport. <laughs> what are you looking at? Your subconscious. Is that sport? Mm. It could be sport. Well, stop looking. Moving on to the thorax, such as it is. Ah, excellent. Enviable spleen, well done. 27 years old, with a projected lifespan of exactly... Stop. Right there. Oh, you're going to do quite well. But watch out for fluid retention later. It's going to be spectacular. Well, put your clothes back on. They are on. Oh, yes, so they are. Why are you doing this? If we are to serve together, I need you in peak physical prowess. Eh? Hey? Oh. oh. Spontaneous combustion. Is that like love at first sight? <laughs> A little. It is the theory that human beings can, with little or no inducement, simply explode. You don't need to flirt with me. We're already married. It's scientific nonsense, of course. Marriage? Hush. There have been nine reported incidents of people apparently exploding in the last month. And you think they weren't spontaneous? I think whoever killed the dinosaur had at least nine previous victims. All of these perished in the same spectacular fashion. I thought you were painting me. I was working. Well, I'm opposing then. Well, you brighten the room tremendously. Chin up a little. Oh, I don't understand why I'm doing this. Art? 